Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to welcome all of our visitors for everybody being here. And um, I see Miss Julia Tempson is with us. Thank you for being here. Do you got anything you need to tell I do. Us? All right. Actually. Well, while you're walking over through there, I also want to recognize our student representatives. Thank you for being here. We appreciate yes. it. As you know, I have some good board members that this is their last meeting, and I think they're trying not to smile too big. <laughs> um, but I will miss you. And I just wanted to highlight just a, a very few things, because Mr. Eman said, now don't be long-winded. Um, he says that to me every meeting. Don't talk too long. Um, but I want to say in um, the tenure of Miss Paris, of course, Miss Paris has been a board member for how many years, ma'am? <laughs> more than she's willing to admit um, but we the teachers have received raises under these guys we got our extra duty pay for our ball games which was huge and we could not have done that without you um, we were able to dismiss at 10 o'clock on Christmas at Christmas break and leave as soon as the kids were gone and that's that was Mr. M and I was at that meeting with him um, we got in service for safe schools that was Mr. Brock um, we've gotten support I know that I can pick up the phone and call Miss Paris Mr. M and Miss Cargi Mr. Brock and they are going to absolutely at least investigate and get back to me and say this is why we can't do it or this is why we can um, the non-cert sick bank was another Mr. Brock move that I appreciate. Coaches supplements were raised for the first time I know in two decades. Yeah. And there may have been a raise before that, but at least in the 21 years I've been here, we've never had the coaches supplements raised. And that's another um, kudos to them. There are so many positives that I can say about Miss Shirley, about Mr. Inman, Miss Cargi, and Mr. Brock. And I am so thankful and on behalf of CCEA, I do have a little token of gratitude. I just want to tell you, I really do. I'm not blowing smoke up your skirt. I really do appreciate you, and I will miss you. At the very least, come back here so at least I can make faces at you once in a while, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. very sweet. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Don't make me squall. Don't make me cry. That's my job. It's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next on the agenda is the uh, special recognition, and I'll turn it over to uh, Mr. Stepp uh, for our charitable funds for this fall. Absolutely. Dr. Wood does an amazing job with, with this and has really served the students and student organizations over so many years. So him and his, his uh, I got to be on the committee this year, so that was a lot of fun getting to go through all that. So, Doctor, would you come up, please? From Brown Elementary, the Brown Elementary Millionaire and Top Readers Club, $250. Brown Elementary, fifth grade science and social. Brown Elementary 5th grade science and social studies class, $250, as well as Brown Elementary 5th grade ELA class, $330.
Crab Orchard Elementary PE class, $330. Crab Orchard Elementary fourth grade class, $300. <laughs> Crab Orchard Elementary 5th grade class, $100. And Crab Orchard 5th grade ELA and Social Studies class, $100. Homestead Elementary Steam Club, $280. Homestead Elementary Archery Team, $280. And Homestead Elementary Music Class, $280. Martin Elementary, second grade class, $265. Martin Elementary Chess Club, $200. And Martin Elementary JV Cheer, $330. North Elementary <laughs> North Elementary Library $500 and North Elementary 5th grade Math and Science class $297 Elementary Beta Club, $200. Pineview Elementary PE Class, $300. And Pineview Elementary 7th and 8th Grade Math and Science, $330. South Cumberland Elementary Boys Soccer, $400. South Cumberland Elementary Library, $300. South Cumberland Elementary Beta Club, $200. And South Cumberland Elementary Band, $300. Elementary Girls Soccer, $400, and Stone Elementary Beta Club, $200. Band, $500. CCHS Cheer Team, $300. CCHS Ladies Soccer, $400. CCHS History Honors Government Classes, $150. CCHS School Counselors, $700. CCHS HOSA, $400. CCHS Wrestling, $400. CCHS Bowling Team, $400. <laughs> 
four hundred dollars. <laughs> CCHS French Club two hundred dollars and CCHS Jet Theatrics four hundred dollars. Phoenix Yearbook, $133. Phoenix PE, $300. Phoenix Small Animal Care, $200. And Phoenix Positive Behavior, $200. SMHS Bowling Team, $300. SMHS Art Club, $400. SMHS ELA Math RTI Geometry, $250. SMHS Soccer Boosters, $400. SMHS FCCLA, $500. SMHS Three Theater, $400. SMHS Science Department, $300. SMHS Chorus, $400. SMHS FBLA, $250. SMHS Beta Club, $250. SMHS Panther Pack, $500. And SMHS Volleyball Team, $400. I think the 15th time I've done this, and this is growing every year. Uh, we distributed over 15,000 this semester. I expect it to be around 16,000 next semester. But I, I encourage y'all, the brochures are outside. We need a lot more donors, just small donors. We need more community involvement. You know, think about pledging five or $10 a month 
and this, this thing will really take off. I mean, we had applications for probably two and a half times what we were able to distribute. And it, it's sad to see these legitimate needs not be addressed. So let's get together as a community and, and see this thing grow so we can address these needs. And uh, we, we just need more people to be involved, and just on a small level, and, and talk to your friends about it. Um, but this is, is something that's going to make a difference in our, in our teachers and our kids' lives in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wood. We appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Stipp. Yes, so to continue on the special recognition, uh, piggyback uh, the union president, we want to say thank you on behalf of all four of the board members for your service. Um, I, I didn't really do this the way the outgoing chair told me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, just Miss Paris, the rest of us are fine, just Miss Paris. <laughs> Well, I kind of broke that rule. Sorry, sir. You didn't want. Yeah. <laughs> but for everyone, for Miss Paris, just a few things. She has 16 years on school board, just serving the schools on the school board. Uh, we were at, trying to find out more information. Um, former director said she was uh, very intelligent, one of the best bus drivers ever. <laughs> She's dedicated her whole adult life to children, and that is where her heart is, mm -hmm. with, with the children. Right. So I can't thank you enough. It's an amazing, wonderful job. I did the math. So regular meetings. There was 192 in her tenure. She made 191 of them. <laughs> Thank you for your 16 years of service, but we know it's been your whole adult life. So you're amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everybody. That's all I can say. I, didn't no. I never expected this. <laughs> we got cake too early, right? <laughs> but I also want to say thank you to all four of you guys. Thank you so much. Just a fun fact for everyone. Four of the five votes that got me this job are now leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Should we write that down? <laughs> so once again, for their service, thank you guys. Thank you. Is that all you have to say? Well, I've got something I was going to say later on. I wasn't going to do it right now. You want me to do mine now? Or yeah, go ahead and do yours right now. I'll do mine later. I'm going to use the big mic. Okay. I'm going to try not to cry. You know I like a speech. Y'all know this about me, right? Do you like a speech? Never seen a microphone you didn't like. Amen, brother. 30 years in broadcasting. What do you get, right? Wow. Okay. Well, serving as the District 9 Board of Education representative these past four years has been one of the greatest honors of my life. That said, it's also been one of the greatest learning experiences, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. When I ran for office, I did so because of my deep love for children, our staff, and our community. As a parent, I witnessed staff members love and educate my children with such heart and such passion that I wanted to give back in any way I could. So when I was asked to run, hey, what could go wrong? <laughs> um, when I took office, I promised that I would do my very, very best to serve with integrity and honesty and compassion and understood that I was going to make mistakes, but I'd always try to learn from them. Who would have thought what we would have, <laughs> the four years that we did? Uh, we served with three directors. We dealt with a pandemic that caused us to reevaluate everything that we thought we knew and understood. We navigated, we pivoted, and we came out the other side with some bruises, but I think stronger. To my fellow board members, thank you for putting up with my endless debates and stubbornness. <laughs> to our staff, thank you. Thank you for your tireless efforts, not just from Stace Cargi, the board member, but more importantly from Stace Cargi, the crazy woman with 17 kids that you educated. 
To our community, thank you for the opportunity to serve and the grace that you've shown me. <coughs> to Ms. Shannon Stout, who will be filling this position, and the rest of the incoming board, I want to say congratulations, and I want to thank you for your commitment to serve the children of Cumberland County. There will be tough times ahead, but you know what? You're going to want to throw in the towel sometimes. It's going to be a bad day, but you're going to get through it because you have that passion, and you're going to make our schools better for it. Finally, to the children of Cumberland County, I want to thank you for the notes that you wrote us, for the pictures that you drew us, and for inspiring me every day. As my mom used to say, keep reaching for the moon and the stars because we believe in you. So thank you all. Thank you, Ms. Corgi. Uh, next on the uh, agenda is uh, roll call. Uh, Mr. Safety, he is not here. Ms. Paris? Ms. Hale? Here. Mr. Brock? Here. Mr. King? Here. Ms. Hamby? Here. Ms. Boston? Here. Ms. Corgi? I'm here. And the chairman is here. Um, and Mr. Safety wanted me to send his regrets that he could not be here. Uh, he is ill. I talked to him, and he uh, he sounded pretty bad. So, But uh, he, he would love to have been here tonight. All right. Next item is the Declaration of Conflict. Mr. Patton. Yeah, board members, Tennessee Code Annotated Title 49, Section 2, uh, 202 defines relatives as a spouse, parent, parent-in-law, child, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, grandparent, grandchild, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, nephew, niece, or any person that resides in the same house as you. Each of you who have such a relative, please raise your right hand and let the record reflect Mr. Inman, Mr. King, and Ms. Boston. Do each of you uh, tonight certify that the votes that you make would be in the best interest of the Cumberland County school system regardless of the effect that your vote may have on the employment of your relatives. I do. I'll let the record reflect all of them. Thank you. Uh, next is the uh, approval of the uh, July minutes. Moved to approve. Second. Uh, motion by Mr. Corgi, second by Mr. King. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, motion carries. All right, next is the approval of the agenda. Moved to approve. Second. I've got a motion by Ms. Corgi and a second by Mr. King. Mr. Inman, can yes. I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Would it be okay to move my uh, safety committee report up to number 11? Mr. Safety's not here to do the TLN. And just in case uh, some of the ones that are here that are involved in my report need to leave. Um, I don't have a problem with that, um, Ms. Corgi. I revise my motion. Okay, Mr. King. Agreed. Okay. Yes, ma'am, we can do that. Thank you very much. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Motion carries. All right. Next is the acknowledgement of elected officials. I see Ms. Sue York is here. I'll be here for four more years. Four more years. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Darrell Three, he'll yeah. be with us four more years as well. Congratulations, both of you. Uh, did I miss anybody? Got a couple yeah. incoming board members out there. Yeah, we've got some incoming board members, and thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, next is community comments, and I don't believe anybody signed up. Uh, so now, Ms. Hamby, we'll do your safety committee. Okay, I'm going to step down here. Okay, um, with the safety committee, we did have a meeting this month. We talked about many different things um, that are in the works. But one thing that I wanted to do was I want to recognize the Bikers Against Bullies and the buddy benches that are working their way into our schools. Um, if Mr. Hopkins could step in here and all the rest of y'all could step in here. Uh, you, if you want to carry that in here, it would be great. They wanted to bring one of the benches so that y'all could get a, a look at it and, and see what it actually is. Um, these will be placed at uh, our schools. Hopefully, if we can get the community to purchase five more or someone to purchase five more, we will have one at every one of our schools. Um, oh, look at that. Cool. Want, yeah, just right there. 
We are excited. The first one was already set at Martin Elementary. Uh, we have not decided where the others are going yet. Um, but Century 21, Miss Heather Harris, um, they have made it possible for seven benches to be purchased. And like I said, we have 12 schools in our county. We only need five more. Community, let's let's get involved. Let's do donations. How much are they? They are $850 each, and that is delivered, set up, put together, the whole, whole nine yards. Um, Mr. Hawkins, would you like to say a few words? Well, I can't take the credit for this because I'm going to let Heather tell kind of how that day went. Um, it, it started with, like, she called me and said, hey, the office is going to donate a bench. And then I let her take it from there. Go ahead. I wasn't prepared to speak, so oh, bear with me. <laughs> um, you tell the story. Right well, I have been following Bikers Against Bullies uh, USA chapter down in Beaufort, South Carolina for quite some time. Um, and then the article in the paper ran at the beginning of the year that we had a local chapter, and, and I knew I had to be involved. Um, I talked to my broker at uh, Century 21 there off of Peavine, and she said, let's do it. We started making phone calls. Uh, with a, in about five hours, we had enough money for seven benches, and that's thanks wow. to that's businesses in our community, um, past clients and customers of ours. The consensus was, as soon as we told them what we were doing, what we needed the money for, is that change starts in our own community. Mm -hmm. um, our children grow up to become adults, if they're not safe as children, they carry that with them throughout the, uh, their adulthood. And we just wanted to try and make a change for a better future for them and for the country and the world, because it all starts at home. So that is good. At the end of the school year last year, uh, Bo Maxson helped us get into uh, the schools finally. We did six or seven invasions. Now, the invasion is where we go in, do an assembly. We do try to do two. We do one for smaller kids. We keep it. We do skits and stuff to keep them kind of occupied and entertained and, and interactive with them. Um, and then we do one for the older kids. Um, we did six or seven, and all of them were very successful. I got to say, Martin was probably off the hook. That was Martin's great. Um, <laughs> The, uh, we're all, we're 100% for kids. That's it. That's all we do. We're here to help kids. Um, this is not a bully deterrent, a deterrent, I don't believe. What this is for is I think nowadays the kids are, are they're really confused about how to ask for help, who to turn to, what to do. The goal is if, if you need help, go sit on the bench. <laughs> Hopefully somebody will take note, a teacher, an administrator, another kid, and you know, might make a new friend for life. Um, we can identify with a lot of these kids in different ways. I think one is because we get judged by our appearance, mm -hmm. just like a lot of kids, which leads to bullying. One hundred percent, we even have adults in this community who are more concerned with our image than what we can do for kids and us helping kids. My advice to those people would be: the next time we do an invasion, come on out. You might learn something. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say I have been working on the safety since I've been on the board, which was four years ago. Newly elected, the safety committee will continue. The bullying is something that I'm very passionate about because the children in our county are my children. I love them as if they were my own, and I will do everything I can to protect them. And I am so appreciative to all of y'all for everything that you're doing. And um, I look forward to getting these benches set and uh, keep going and get the invasions going. And I hope that all of our principals at all of our schools will take part and, and uh, allow them to come in and do the invasions. Yeah. We, we did talk about, with, we got six benches left. Um, the schools that participated in the invasions last year get those six literally. And the, October being anti-bullying month, we'd like to do an invasion and a bench dedication all at the same time. Sounds good. We'll, we'll work on that. Great, great work. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for allowing me to well, thank, have that time. Thank you for all your hard work. Next item is school board reports, the TLN report. Mr. Safety's not here, so we'll move on. Uh, next is board members report of training. Does anybody have any reports of training? No, we'll move on then. Next is the legal report. Mr. Patton, you're up. No change in pending litigation. Uh, we've got two matters that are on the board's docket currently. One is uh, the Humphreys versus Gelfan case. That really, it only involves the board from the standpoint that our insurance company provides some, some insurance and everything's within your policy limits. Uh, but there's no negligence alleged on behalf of any um, employees of the board. The other one is Kirkman versus Cumberland County Board of Education case, and that involves some, uh, an allegation of some negligence at Pleasant Hill. Uh, that's making its way through the system, and uh, we'll have an update on that in coming months. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Next is the uh, director's report, so I'll turn it over to uh, Mr. Kemp. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, 14A is, this is standard each year that uh, you guys vote on for approvals, the College Career and Technical Education Club Program Participation. Move to approve. Second. We got a motion from Ms. Gordon and a second from Mr. Keene. Uh, does anybody have any discussion? Any questions? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 14B, the system-wide testing coordinator um, has changed, so we just have to vote on this again. Move to approve. Second. A motion by Ms. Corgi and a second by Mr. King. Uh, is there any discussion? Any questions? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Uh, the next 14C, uh, for the bid for pre-approved ESSER II high school pavilions. That's three of them. The bid came in, as you can see, uh, Stubbs here in Crossville at 245, and I believe the budget that was approved was uh, 359. Is that correct, Mr. Kemp, somewhere? Mm -hmm. So it came under budget. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Ms. Cargi and second from Mr. King. And... Uh, and I apologize for this getting on the, the agenda so late, yeah. but uh, it's a situation where uh, this bid came in. I think you all opened the bids yesterday two at two o'clock, and we've only got the bids only good for thirty days, so we had to uh, uh, act on it quickly. All right, so we've got a motion and a second. All, is there any questions or any uh, discussion? All right, hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Mr. Chair, do we need to do a roll call since it's money? Yeah. Uh, um, we can. Uh, I had it in my mind that, that we didn't have to, but, <coughs> but we can. We'll just do a roll call. All right, uh, Ms. Paris. Yes. Ms. Ms. Hale? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Cardi? Yes. And Chair votes yes. Motion passes. So the next one, 14D, Safe Schools Counselor Job Description. We're doing the same here that we've done with a lot of special education positions, some other positions. To get more applicants, we've uh, changed the actual requirements, uh, professional requirements. Move to approve. Second. You got a motion from Ms. Cargi and a second by Mr. King. Is there any discussion? Any questions? I hear none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. So now we're on 14E annual planning calendar. That's standard. Need a vote on no, we don't need a vote on that or anything. Just, no. just, just for your information. Yep. And then uh, 14F1 Ag in the classroom. This is a program. I, uh, Mr. Ivy Hillis came in to speak, speak with me about it. That Farm Bureau would like to start up again. It's for third graders. Um, just wanted to make you aware. That's 
this next month in September, so pretty exciting to get that rolling again. They're very, very excited for that. Yeah, I think it's been paused for two years because of COVID. Correct. Right? So we're ready to get back with it. I know the kids will, will enjoy it. I, uh, may I say something about sure. that, about ag? Um, I look forward to ag every year as a fourth grade teacher because the third grade teachers go out and one year I got to teach third grade and I got to go to ag and it's an amazing program. I'm so glad we do this. It's awesome. Okay, thank you. And the next, the, this is the uh, manual adjustment for pay study front for the custodians. Uh, this was adjusted by Ms. Bray. So it, they, at minimum, get the 4.8%. Mm -hmm. uh, most got more than that for uh, increase. Um, Does anybody have any questions on that one? Okay. No, that's good. All right, so the next, um, we have attendance report, administrative meeting agenda, sorry. <coughs> attendance report and personnel report is the attachments that come up on 14F5. And I have, uh, there was a question on our description of those uh, certified spots. So Ms. Bray has went through and this replaces the attachment so that there's not NAs. It actually tells you what these positions are and where they're being funded. The question was, with them saying N.A., it looked like they were all new positions, and they are not. They, they're, most of them are funded through federal programs. So we went through and added where they're being funded so that you can tell these are just one-year contracts. These are not renewed each year, even though some teachers might have that same job each year. It's just for the, just for the one year. I hope that clarifies that for you all. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. Does anybody have any questions on this? Not right, hearing none, we'll move on. Uh, next, substitute board list. So it's 10 more. Yay, we need substitutes. Yes, we do. Yeah. Well, when I first saw this report, I thought, we only have 10 subs? No, Ms. Bray corrected me. That's just for this month. <laughs> Additions. Um, school news, we've had some. Uh, school, two schools turn school news, so that's for your information, and also the calendars. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda, the school board committees. Uh, we'll start with Mr. Brock with policy. He's only got a couple. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it was it was not on purpose that uh, <laughs> that this many policy. Uh, honestly, I, guys, we're just getting everybody ready for the start of the new school year and and again committee i'd like to thank you for all the hard work and and uh getting me through all this but for the board's consideration uh we recommend these all at once if you have any questions about any individual one we'll be glad to address that but we Recommend that you approve the following policies for first reading. Policy 1.102, board members' legal status. Policy 3.404, private vehicles. Policy 4.101, instructional standards. Policy 4.212, virtual education program. Policy 4.300, extracurricular activities. Policy 4.406, Use of the internet, policy 5.200, separation practices for tenured teachers, policy 5.201, separation practices for non-tenured teachers, policy 5.701, substitute teachers, uh, policy 6.318, admission of suspended or expelled student. Right, since, this, since this came out of committee, it does not need a second. Uh, does anybody have any questions? All right, hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. All right. Uh, as you can tell, our policy committee has been busy, busy. Very busy. Uh, you've already approved these uh, at last month's meeting, but uh, for second reading of the policies, uh, we recommend uh, that you, you give final approval to policy 
uh, 2.806 bids and quotations policy, 3.202 emergency preparedness and planning and training policy, 4.402 reconsideration of textbook and instructional materials, policy 4.403 library materials, policy 5.119 employment of retirees, policy 6.200 attendance, policy 6.204 attendance of non-resident students, policy 6.300 code of conduct and discipline, policy 6.409 reporting child abuse. I think that's it. <laughs> All right, once again, this came out of committee. This is the second reading. Does anybody have any questions? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Brock. Mm. And Thank you. while you've got the floor, uh, athletic committee. Uh, nothing to report at this time. Uh, athletics off and running. All right. Uh, go Jets, that. go Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. King, budget committee, you have anything to report? Mr. Chair, nothing new. Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, building committee, uh, was Mr. Safty, but uh, since he was not here, uh, what we have is the Homestead Playground improvements. Um, is Mary this, here? Well, this is uh, playground improvements paid for through special education, IDEA, okay. to improve the playground for our students with the special needs. Right now it's mulch, so we it's a new surface that will uh, make it a lot better for the, the special needs students. Okay. okay. All right. I'll entertain a motion. Moved to approve. Second. Mr. Cardi with the motion. Ms. Hale with the second. Is there any discussion? All right. Uh, Mr. King, we need to do roll call on this one too? It should be, yes. Okay. We'll do it. All right, Ms. Paris? Yes. Ms. Hale? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Carvey? Yes. And Chair votes yes. <coughs> Motion carries. All right, next is uh, Safety Committee. We've already done that one. And uh, then the Contract Committee, Ms. Boston. Thank you. We have four contracts to consider. Your first contract is what I'm going to respectfully refer to as our canine contract where the canines come in at their discretion. This is actually a renewal. We've done this for the last probably three years. Uh, the second one is Upland's design group for Stone's roof, which we approved the money for. Now we have to approve our contract with them. The second one is Upland's design North Electrical. It says rebid. It's not actually a rebid. It's phase two. Okay. And, and three yeah, together. And, and we put those all on one contract and, and we're ready to move forward with those. Uh, the fourth one is the United Healthcare Billing Contract. Uh, it's a 64 page contract sent to us so that they can bill TenCare, they can bill the, for the services that we provide. Um, all four contracts came out of uh, contract committee uh, with flying colors. I would recommend that the board approve. All right, thank you. Um, since I think a couple of these have some money involved, so we'll go ahead and roll call vote again. Right. We're going to roll call for all four at the same yes. time. Oh, yeah, we're doing all four at the same time, and we'll do a roll call vote on all of them. Okay. Uh, Ms. Carter? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Ms. Hale? Yes. And Ms. Paris? Yes. And Chair votes yes. So motion carries. Uh, thank you, Ms. Hamby, or Ms. Uh, Boston. Sorry about that. Uh, next is the uh, Chief Financial Officer's, Officer's Report. It says Ms. Casey Harris. Well, Mr. But Chair, I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to welcome to Cumberland County our, our new CFO, uh, Mrs. Linda Tucker. Welcome. Thank you Welcome. very much. 
So tonight we're looking at the monthly financial report and it looks a little different so I'm going to kind of walk you through the differences and what that means. I want to also preliminarily tell you that your revenues aren't booked as of this moment because Nathan Brock's team is still working on year end close as well as month end close at the county level. So that's why I think your first screen, and I'm going to look over here so I can see really well, you notice that you've got and I don't know, is that a little blurry? Can you see yeah, that? Yeah, it is a little blurry. It's a little blurry? Okay. That's okay. Which one? Which, like we, we have them in like front of us. So. Okay, perfect. So columns. So that first bar up there is your year to date. The second bar is the, the month to date. And you notice that your actuals here, and I would say after your budget estimate, that's one, two, three, third column over, are zeros. Because your revenue, again, they haven't had the opportunity to close the books for the year. But I do want to talk to you, if you can go to the next page, Diane, for us. Thank you. The next page, expenses are booked. And so I want to talk to you. I think this is a different view than what you've had before with Casey, with the previous CFO. So what the county has decided to do this year is include encumbrances. And so for those of you that don't know what that word means, I'm going to give you just a quick you know, definition of it. It's basically promises to pay. Okay, and it's what we facilitate. We use, we use a purchase order to facilitate it. And that's all it is, really, is you're saying, I promise to pay you at some future date. It's not an expense that's hit yet because I haven't actually paid it. But I'm setting aside these funds to make that payment on that future date. And so the reason they do that is so you know exactly what your potential expenses will be for the future, right? Because you'll, you'll have the complete picture at that point, what's actually happened and then what we plan on happening. And so what I've done for you, which I think is a little different, is I've just added that extra column to let you know what's been encumbered versus what actually hit. And then your percentages are based on the grand total, so you know how much has been spent. Um, and that's, that is the, the look for this year. So, that look good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And we only have one month, so next year, I mean, next month will be a little different, of course, but... The other, uh, I think, report that I have due for you also is the monthly sales tax report. I think that that did come in late from Nathan's group this afternoon, but I know Diane had, I think, emailed it to everybody. So that's here with for as well. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty simple so far, right, because we only have the one month reporting. Is there any questions related to that? Okay, fantastic. And then... Um, the other item, or any, if we have any budget amendments, and I know that we have three, if I believe, from SPED and CTE, but I know they can speak to it if you'd like to, if you have any questions related to that. The only question, are these, these cleanup, which is normally what we do about this time of the year? Yes, ma'am. These are just cleanup? Yes, they're okay. doing some shifting around in a couple of them, and one of them is where uh, a, one was put in the budget and they're taking it back and <coughs> didn't get funded. Yes, okay, the first one is uh, 16C, which is uh, 141 general budget amendment. Uh, we'll take that one first. Move it first. Okay, we've got a motion to approve. Ms. Carty? Second. Second by Mr. King. Any discussion? All right, we'll roll call vote on this as well. Ms. Paris? Yes. Ms. Hale? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Cargi? Yes. And Chair Vote Chips. The motion carries. All right, next is the uh, uh, 16D, which is 142 Federal <coughs> IDEA Amendment. Move to approve. Second. Okay, got a motion from Ms. Cargi. And Mr. King. <laughs> Not with a bang. Everybody else is being real quiet. <laughs> All right. Uh, does anybody have any questions on this one? All right. Hearing none. Uh, uh, Ms. Hale? Yes. Mr. Brock? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Cargi? Yes. Uh, Ms. Paris? Yes. And Chair Boat Jets. So that carries. Motion carries. All right. Next is 16E, uh, 142 Federal Perkins Reserve Consolidated Budget Amendment. Move to approve. Second. On a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Got a motion by Ms. Cargi and a second by Mr. King. Anybody have any questions? All right. 
We'll roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Brock? Yes. Mr. King? Yes. Ms. Hamby? Yes. Ms. Boston? Yes. Ms. Cargy? Yes. Uh, Ms. Paris? Yes. And Ms. Hale? Yes. The chair votes yes. So motion carried. Mr. Right. Chair, I would like to say Ms. Tucker has been awesome on the team so far. We're real excited. She's doing a great job. So right. thank you. Thank you. And welcome. All right. Next on the agenda is the consent agenda. Thank you. Thank Ms. Paris Beachy by just a split yes. second. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Any discussion? Around here if you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Next. I gotta get through the consent. Okay, is uh old business. Mm, approval by overnight. Does that include that was included? Yeah, that was all in consent. Yeah, that was all in the consent mind. agenda. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, fortunately, we don't have to worry so much about the overnight now. You know, there for a while, we were very concerned about it. But uh, uh, nobody has anything under old business? Well, this was where I was planning on speaking. And those of you that know me know that I'm not much for speeches. So this, no, this will be, <laughs> this will be short and sweet. But I just want to thank each and every one of you, uh, all the board members, uh, for, uh, the last four years has been a been a ride, and it's been a good one. And uh, and I appreciate each and every one of you, and and including the uh, board members that we served with in the couple years before. And uh, uh, we have we have disagreed several times, but I am proud to say that we nobody was ever disagreeable. And. Uh, and I think if, if the new board members learns anything from this group, that would be the number one lesson. I mean, you know, we've, like I said, we've all had disagreements, but we were not never really disagreeable. And uh, um, we only got into shouting matches once, and that was me. But, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, I just want to thank you, and, uh, and good luck to the new board members. And, uh, and I want to thank Miss Julia Timpson. She has... Uh, always been there for me to uh, to help me anytime I needed help, and uh, but thank you. And uh, um, somebody keeps everybody keeps asking me, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, uh, my grandson's got a football game tonight that I'm missing, <laughs> and my granddaughter's got a volleyball game tonight that I'm missing. So that's where I'll be. I'll be with my grandkids. But uh, but anyway, thank you, and I appreciate everybody. Questions from the media? No questions. Anything right. from you, Mr. Tony? <laughs> um, <Not> you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, very little. I've, 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 uh, I've thought about making a speech, but uh, sometimes it delved into the political and, uh, <laughs> and the controversial, and I thought, well, that's no way to end this. <laughs> the way you started it. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I would like to say just one thing, uh, uh, actually two things. One, uh, to all the people in the 5th District, uh, uh, I've done my best and, and I, I hope you are pleased. Uh, to my fellow board members, um, I don't think that there's a single one of us who hadn't disagreed at some point. <laughs> And you know what? Uh, we still, every single time, mm -hmm. our goal has always been, our focus has always been, what can we do for the teachers? What can we do for the staff? What can we do for those kids? Nice. And you know what? I, I think we've done a darn good job of following and pursuing that goal. So uh, I wish you all the luck in continuing that. So please stay on task. Rock on. Rock on. <laughs> Rock on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rock. All right. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second.
got a motion by Miss Boston. She finally spoke up. And second by Mr. King. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, just hang around. Stay a while. God bless. Thank you again, everybody.